Series $332,500 Breeders' Crown Final. Featuring Eternal Camnation, and yes, it's true. Mares are lined up, picking up speed. Here they come. And they're off with Ramel and Hanover trying to show speed. Tattoo Hanover guns out from the inside. Cinder Best with uh, alert pace. And yes, it's true from the far outside as Campbell's trying to rally her early into it. Around the first turn is Luke Willett and Tattoo Hanover sprints to the front here. Cinder Best settles in second. Yes, it's true up on the outside as Pierce pulls the pocket with Cinder Best. So we've got some action early here in this one. A hot pace as well. Ramel and Hanover is fourth. Gap at two. Eternal Camnation fifth. Then it's Mercy, Mercy, Mercy sixth. Have no secrets. Seventh off the turn. Followed by Walk on the Beach and Aquatic Yankee and Hawaiian Flash. That opening quarter was a hot 26 seconds flat. Cinder Best clears the top for Ron Pierce. It's Cinder Best. Yes, it's true. Still parked out and challenging on the outside. Looking for the front end here. Used hard early. Tattoo Hanover is now third. Up the back stretch they go. Towards the half. Ramel and Hanover fourth. Eternal Camnation now gets it in gear. She tips to the outside, fifth, followed by Mercy, 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 sixth. Have No Secrets is seventh. Then it's Walk on the Beach, eighth on the outside. Hawaiian Flash, and at the back, Aquatic Yankee. The half was 53 flat. Another 27 second, a second quarter there. And it's, yes, it's true, clear the top, but Eternal Camnation pounces on her. So the battle begins here. And Ledford's looking to just blow run right on by with Eternal Camnation, and she does. It's Eternal Camnation taking over as they pass the three-quarter marker. And uh, at that station in 121 flat, Eternal Camnation looks to open up on the lead. Yes, it's true all through on the inside. Then on the outside, it's Tattoo Hanover trying to come on. Eternal Camnation. And Ledford's working away on her, leading it by two and a half. Yes, it's true. Gallant on the inside, battling back for minor spoils. Tattoo Hanover all through. And she's going for it all. The Campbell legacy is eternal. Eternal Camnation home in 150 and one. Second was Aquatic Yankee, third walk on the beach. And the first female to win a crown at the ages of two and four. She's a four-year-old daughter of Cam Fella, out of Cool World by Nihilator, owned by the Eternal Cam Nation stable, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jeff Miller and Eric Ledford, the Eternal Cam Nation stable. James Hardesty, Jeff and Mark Miller. And the breeder, Louis Arno and Frederick Hertrich, who sell their horses under the banner of All American Standard Breads, have had three horses compete in the Breeders' Crown Series, Eternal Cam Nation. And they had two crown finalists this year. They've got one coming up, Memphis Flash, in the open pace. Congratulations to all. Post time for race 11 in 20 minutes, 8.24. We'll have winner circle interviews momentarily, but number two, Eternal Cam Nation pays 260, 240, 220. Number seven, Aquatic Yankee, 460, 460. The six, Walk on the Beach, $11, 27 exacta, $20, 276 trifecta, $498. Making the presentation, Mr. Bruce Garland, our senior executive vice president here at the Big M, and Mr. John Cashman, welcome to the Big M. Mr. Cashman, a director of the Hamiltonian Society. Okay, we're in the winner's circle here. The mayor, Breeders' Crown is in. Eric Ledford, Jeff Miller. Eric, the uh, we're buzzing pretty good early fractions here, 26 and 53. Take us through the early part of the race. Where were you with Eternal Cam Nation? Uh, I believe I was sitting about uh, fifth. Uh, they was buzzing pretty good up front. The first quarter was real hot. Uh, actually, it worked out very good for me. She's gone first over before. We've seen that. Uh, is this the ideal trip, or did, did it bother her at all? Well, naturally, that's not the ideal trip, but uh, she's such a great horse. She overcomes anything I do with her. What was the main competition here? Post 10, the yes, it's true, was pretty hard used. What about that, and how much do you have to get after in the stretch? I had to get after her pretty good, but uh, she gets a bit lazy when I do make the front with her. And, uh, and yes, it's true, it, a great mare also. But uh, she did have to use pretty hard to get to the front. Just compared to your winning the crown with her as a two-year-old? Uh, any crown's good. Okay, Eric Ledford, second Breeders' Crown. Congratulations, Jeff Miller. Well, Cinder Best was in here. Internal Cam Nation was in here. Tell us about your watching the early part of the race, because Cinder Best was out there in part of that early action. Uh, 
I was really preserved with her going to the front. You know, I, we vacated the two hole, and, and she Merritt really loves a perfect trip. And so I was a little disappointed with, you know, with, with that action. But I'm pretty happy with the way the race ended up. She, her attitude has been great. Tell us a little bit about uh, Eternal Condition coming into this week, and where does she go from here? Um, I don't know. That's something we're going to have to decide. Uh, we had made payments to U.S. Pacing uh, Derby here, and, and uh, we also got a stake in Balmoral, and I think we're going to have to sit down as a whole and, and decide what's best for her. About 125000 away from the mayor earnings mark. How important is that? Oh. I, I think it would be a great accomplishment for her. You know, I, I don't think we take any pride in that, but I think she deserves that. She's been so versatile and so good to us that, uh, you know, I, it would be nice to see her get another record on top of her world record. We see in the Breeders' Crown as a five-year-old? Well, I, I don't know about that. I think we'll take this one day at a time. Okay, Jeff Miller, congratulations. All the connections with the Eternal Chem Nation, the Breeders' Crown Mayor Pace winner.